We know why all of these diseases are going up, and we know how to fix it. There is massive change happening in the media today with so much information finally breaking through to the mainstream. The current state of, of America's national health is not good. Even though America's health care system spent $4.5 trillion in 2022, those who seriously question the current orthodoxy are generally ridiculed, vilified, and canceled. Literally 74% of Americans are either overweight or obese. 50% of American adults have either type 2 diabetes or are pre-diabetic, which is insane. And how is it possible that in the early 2000s, autism diagnoses were estimated at about one in 150 kids. And now one in 36 kids are diagnosed with autism. And we know how to fix it. Every disease I mentioned is caused by or worsened by. By the end of this video, I am gonna show you the exact information of what you actually need to pay attention to, not just based off of my worldview. Recently, US Senator Ron Johnson led a roundtable discussion titled American Health and Nutrition, a Second Opinion. Because of corporate capture, the connection between environmental factors and pharmaceutical adverse impacts on health have not been adequately explored. What this did was it gave people who are kind of like behind the scenes, really, really reputable people, many from Harvard even, people who might support lifestyle changes as a you know way to help chronic disease, people who might support a carnivore diet that just they really can't get a voice out there because it goes against the grain, finally had a space to speak what they're seeing. This round table was a collection of these people and solutions that they believe will solve these problems. It's not that complicated. So let's talk about solutions here, what these guys talked about. Again, all of this simplified. I'm going to take all of this and super, super simplify everything. Really, when we get down to every single thing that these people talked about, there is a very simple solution. The main area of concern is called metabolic dysfunction. While it sounds grim, there is very good news. Every disease I mentioned is caused by or worsened by metabolic dysfunction. Metabolic dysfunction is at the core of every single one of these presenters' solution for this massive problem. So the first person that I wanna bring up is Callie Means. Callie was a consultant for big food and big pharma companies. He's been known as the Coca-Cola whistleblower. Our processed food industry was created by the cigarette industry. They moved these addiction specialists, world-leading addiction specialists to the food department by the thousands. And those scientists creating this food to be palatable and to be addictive. It's not that complicated. He basically touts that metabolic dysfunction is the central issue for why so many people are unhealthy these days. If you get outside the corporate controlled media that's totally bought off by pharma, we're all gravitating to information to be healthier and to get our kids healthier. I mean, the most popular podcasts, you know, from Joe Rogan on down are essentially chronic disease metabolic health podcasts. Going on to the next guest was Chris, Dr. Chris Palmer. He is a Harvard-trained psychiatrist, a researcher, and he explores groundbreaking connection between the metabolic health and mental illness to back that the keto diet can reverse schizophrenia rather than just relying on pills. When we have metabolic dysfunction, it can drive numerous chronic diseases, which is a paradigm shift in the medical field. The human brain is an organ too. And when brain metabolism is impaired, it can cause symptoms that we call mental illness. There is no doubt food plays a key role. Nutritious foods support metabolism, while ultra-processed options can disrupt it. The third person would be Dr. Casey Means, a medical doctor. When she was training as a surgeon, she saw how many broken and exploitative the healthcare system is and left to focus on how to keep people out of the operating room rather than operating on them. In medical school, I did not learn that for each additional serving of ultra-processed food we eat, early mortality increases by 18%. This now makes up 67% of the foods our kids are eating. I took zero nutrition courses in medical school. I didn't learn that 82% of independently funded studies show harm from processed food, while 93% of industry-sponsored studies reflect no harm. 
So this is a real issue, and it seems to be driven in large part by metabolic disease. Moving forward to Michaela Fuller, she's actually uh, Jordan Peterson's daughter, and she completely cured all of her chronic disease with the carnivore diet after having a hip replacement, getting on all of these medications for her entire life, like over 13 or something like that. At 14, I was diagnosed with idiopathic hypersomnia. My hip and ankle were replaced when I was 17. Eating only meat put my symptoms into remission again in six weeks. The problem is most people don't know that what they're consuming is making them sick. They know junk food is bad, but they don't realize it's causing chronic disease. Moving on to the last person that I'm going to mention here is Brigham Bueller. He's a former pharmaceutical lead salesman, literally selling the pharmaceutical drugs and the, and the tools to the doctors and seeing how the incentive programs worked. And he since left because he saw the corruption behind that and that these weren't working. To truly grasp what is driving chronic disease epidemic, the answer is simple. Private industry has traded patient outcomes and public health for quarterly profits and earnings. We cannot treat what we refuse to diagnose. I have personally witnessed physicians unable to run necessary lab tests, unable to even perform investigations into their pa patients' conditions to uncover their root cause. These were just some of the few of the guests, you guys, that were part of this panel speaking to Senator Ron Johnson and on a public platform, finally, about what they actually saw in their field of work, being trained in medical school, being trained within the system, and now bringing it to the forefront with solutions. Okay, so let's talk about solutions here, what these guys talked about. Really, when we get down to every single thing that these people talked about, the main area of concern is called metabolic dysfunction. Now, what is metabolic dysfunction? Metabolic dysfunction is a fundamental distortion of our cellular biology. It stops our cells from making energy appropriately. Metabolic dysfunction refers to a group of conditions where normal metabolic processes in the body are disrupted, typically resulting from a poor regulation of blood sugar, insulin, and lipids. These disruptions increase in, increase in the risk of chronic diseases such as type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, fatty liver disease, and obesity. <laughs> Key factors contributing to metabolic dysfunction include a diet high in processed foods and sugar, lack of physical activity, and chronic stress. Summarizing all of that, metabolic dysfunction is at the core of every single one of these presenters' solution, solving chronic disease, autoimmune issues, cancer, diabetes, obesity, anxiety, depression, the list goes on and on and on. And again, the simple solution is paying attention to metabolic dysfunction. Zipping to another really massive situation that occurred. I'm not gonna say this guy's name because we don't really know how this might affect uh, being censored on YouTube, but this guy here was basically talking about the reason that he's now going to move forward with Trump in the elections rather than running for president himself. One in four American women is on antidepressant medication. 40% of teens have a mental, teens have a mental health diagnosis, and 15% of high schoolers are on Adderall, and half a million children on SSRIs. So what's causing this suffering? First and the worst is ultra-processed foods. These foods consist primarily of processed sugar, ultra-processed grains, and seed oils. Humans aren't biologically adapted to eat them. When he gave the speech, I, I literally went off on social media when this happened because I could not believe that the things he was discussing finally made it to such a mainstream platform. And a lot of what he was discussing was our food system and how our food system has been captured by basically large corporations who are there to ultimately generate profit. The same mitochondrial disorder that causes diabetes is also causing the epidemic of Alzheimer's in this country. No other country has anything like this. These were people who had immune system collapse, who had mitochondrial dysfunction. And a food system should be based in fundamental health, not in profit, obviously. And so what, what this man was saying on stage basically like was a mic drop <laughs> because he was talking about the actual core of the problem with so many people out there that are struggling with real issues, issues with mental health, physical health, obesity, people who are spending thousands of dollars, their entire income on medications. In my opinion, this speech is going to make history. This is a groundbreaking step for awareness, at least in uh, America, if not internationally. And it is kind of shattering this 
this facade and pulling back this curtain that we've had for so long about the reality and why so many, many people in America are so sick and unhappy. I know that most of what I discuss when it comes to food and a lot of what I discuss on my channel is regarding the carnivore diet. This is so much bigger than just a carnivore diet. Going back to what the problems are, we know that there is a massive influx of uh, type two diabetes that's going been going on. Today, one out of every three children who walk through his office door is diabetic or pre-diabetic. Obesity is at an all-time high. In America, 74% of Americans are now overweight or obese, including 50% of our children. And then cancer has skyrocketed tremendously as well. Early onset cancer has increased by 79% in the past three decades. Let's talk a little bit about what this means. For so many people, we approach the lifestyle of a carnivore diet. Why? Because it removes sugar, predominantly, but the biggest factor is that it removes ultra processed foods and it replaces it with a, a diet high in protein and high in animal fat. The benefits of a carnivore diet are, I mean, there's so many, you get basically all the nutrients you need, assuming you have liver, but furthermore, you are satisfied. You're not hungry. And what that does is it makes it easy to stop eating processed foods. What we know about processed foods is that they are actually scientifically engineered to make us want to keep eating them, to make them addictive. I actually interviewed a food scientist about this very topic. We can watch that video here if we want to, but he actually explains exactly how they do it and that this is a real thing, that they make the food so good that they know we can't stop eating it. So again, the carnivore diet is useful because when you have a high fat diet and a high protein diet, it makes it so that your satiety hormones are much greater and your hunger hormones drop down and you don't need to eat the processed foods. And then what inevitably happens with people when they go on these carnivore diets is their chronic illness goes away, their autoimmune issues go away, they lose weight, they have far more energy, and their body starts running off of ketones rather than running off of processed sugars. So for anybody out there that is looking to understand how to achieve metabolic health and get rid of metabolic dysfunction, I highly I highly, highly recommend moving to a carnivore diet. If you need a starting point, I recommend watching this video here where I show you exactly what I eat in a day, or I recommend watching this video here where you're going to see a grocery list of exactly how to get started to keep it really, really simple. So much of what's embedded into our systems, even the healthcare systems, the health food systems is ultra processed foods. Ultra processed foods are the new cigarette for my generation. This is to generate profit. Then you look at why so many people have issues with depression or anxiety. Have we ever considered the fact that maybe it's not a pill that's going to solve it. Maybe it's removing the ultra processed foods. And again, one of the reasons why people who go into the carnivore diet have so much success is because they have the ability to remove processed foods and they can't, and they don't slip up because they're full. That said, you can find success with metabolic health through a vegan lifestyle or a plant lifestyle too. It, it, it can be done. It's a little bit more challenging because you have to measure things and all that, but it can be done. You know, for me, I completely healed all of these issues, anxiety, depression, binge eating disorder, anorexia, all, all of it, you know, with simply changing the food I eat, which made me metabolically healthy and it actually restored my cells ability to generate energy through ketones and through my body's own uh, fat basically. And it gave my brain the fuel it needed to be healthy and no longer need antidepressants, anti-anxiety. Times are changing dramatically in a way that we've never seen before. Get rid of ultra processed foods, eat foods with just one ingredient. That is going to make us metabolically healthy. It's gonna end metabolic dysfunction, which is the core of the problem according to all of these experts here that have finally gotten the main stage enough to get a senator to create a round table that was public and has millions of views. Please, if you have people out there who are struggling with health or even issues, you know, with weight or they, you know, they, they're just stubborn with anxiety or whatever, please share this video with them so that they can at least see that it's not just me. This is not a conspiracy. These are really valid people from Harvard, from all these different medical backgrounds that are talking about these solutions. And if you like this, please like it. If you are into this kind of stuff, I talk about all things, human optimization, exploration, life hacks, and go ahead and subscribe. And as always, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm so interested to hear what you have to say about all this.
All right, guys, I so appreciate it. I'm so excited about this. This is such a good thing. Vote with your dollar, with your money. Get single foods to eat. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. See ya.